Hi, this is Dousbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Gateway to the Savage Frontier. Off camera, we yeah finished resting and continued on down the long winding hallway, and we're now just outside the room where the statuette of the East is hidden. So I guess this qualifies as enough of a big battle that w it would probably be a good idea to encamp and cast protective spells. And now we not only have bless, we also have prayer. Yes, we even prayed for Brinjar, even though we don't trust him. And... Well, I know I've tweaked my own characters, but maybe Enlarge would help Krevish. Yep. Let's see what he's like now. Oh yeah. So hopefully he'll be able to do some more damage with his arrows. Okay. And once again we failed to pick the lock. You burst into the room and find several men who are standing in open awe of a glowing statuette. One who appears to be the leader is dressed in the rich robes of a magic user. The men draw their weapons and run to the attack. Okay, so we have some Zental fighters and that should be a host tower mage and a couple of manticores. work on this. We want to keep the manticores from using their tail spikes. And we especially want to keep the host tower wizard from casting any spells. Okay, we'll try Stinking Cloud. Maybe, let's see, right, how about right there? <coughs> we can potentially take out four of them. Well, I mean, he immobilized three of the four. Okay. I know he can't possibly be affected by it. Okay. So the wizard and all the Zettel fighters are immobilized and one of the mana is immobilized, but not the other one. Okay, she can't quite maneuver around to reach that last manticore. So she'll have to wail away at him with her staff slay. Oh, 
Oh, I'm a wizard. It always works. Oh, excuse me. Okay. At least now we can't cast his tail spike. Excellent. Good job, Hosita. Huh. <gasps> oh. There we go. Fair amount of gold and a piece of jewelry. Oh. Okay, let's have our cleric cast detect magic. And looks like the bracers are the one most useful thing. Oh. There. Okay, we can give Krebish some of the arrows, but we don't need to give him all of them. Oh. Okay, I'll let I could use a few arrows. As could he. <gasps> oh, there we go. I am determined to get through this episode, but I think after that I'm definitely taking a break tonight. Okay, I think all of her excess loot we can get rid of. Should be done 
picking up this junk soon. And I think we're just going to drop all this stuff. Okay, so we'll have it her. The party approaches the glowing statue, a white hot flame suspended in midair over a triangular base. Teresa passes a hand across its top and says, It didn't burn me. I think it's safe to take it. The party takes the Statue out of the East, and Brinchar says, My job here is done, for the Statue out of the East has been rescued. May I see you all again in happier times. He leaves via the door before you can thank him. Oh, well, happier times for who? Him or us? Okay. And let's save here. And we'll attempt to fix and rest. At least we don't have to rememorize Brinchar spells anymore. Yeah, there we go. And now we need to make our way back to the exit. So we're going to move. And turn around, head south. And east and south. And now we're in the twisty hallway again. Now, actually, I think rather than taking this very first door, I'm going to take us a little bit further south. Yeah, if we go through here and we go through that one-way door, go through that door, and then take a right, and this time we're going to head west, and this should take us back to the entrance. And we attempt to step outside and the party prepares to leave the host tower but are surprised by a familiar face framed by two great cats. It was most convenient of you to acquire the statuette for me, Brinchar says, laughing. It was for trying to steal it that I had been imprisoned before you rescued me. Seems you're always doing me favors. It's a pity such fine folk as you have so little time left to live your good and petty lives. Oh, he's got a several displacer beasts. And we'll just quickly whip through this off camera and then we'll finally be done with the host tower. See you then.